Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at light leaks and light wash space inside Replicant. So the first thing we're going to do is remove all the lights in the scene. Okay, now let's move to the light wash space. I'm here on the left. We can create a new light rig and by default is empty. And on the right, you can preview different presets. And some of them, you might say that seems like they are doing nothing. That's because we are in a very small room. And for that, we provide this slider that allow you to move lights closer to the center. So the light rigs also work inside the small rooms like this one. Uh, you can keep reviewing them. Okay, let's say you like this one. You can create a new light rig or override the current one because the one that we have is empty. Let's just override it. And now you can see the name of the preset that we chose and all the lights inside it. You can select them and modify as you could modify any light in Replicant. Uh, you can change the intensity. You can move them around, rotate, uh, do whatever you want. You can remove them from the scene. Let's say, I don't like this one. I just move it and I can add new lights to the light rig just by dragging them into the scene, playing the para with the parameters. Let's add something like this. And now you can see I have the new light in the light rig. So basically light rigs are a way to group in lights. And once you move outside of the light rig, and filter by lights, you can see we only have one asset for the entire lighting and you don't see the light gizmos, but you can move the entire rig, you can rotate it, which is very handy to find new lighting setups. Uh, you can change the overall intensity of the entire light rig and the color. So this way you can keep organized uh, all your lights in the scene which is very handy and anytime you want to go back and tweak some individual lights, you can go back to the light workspace, select here on the top the light rig that you want if you have multiple ones and just keep working on it. Uh, just remember that anything that you add while in the light workspace will be added to the selected light rig. So if you want to add lights to your scene without being inside a light rig, make sure to do it in the scene workspace. I think that's all for the light rigs inside Replicant. I hope you find them useful and see you in the next video. Bye.